This is a 24 by 36 inch uh, canvas. It's a linen canvas. And I toned this canvas with some uh, burnt sienna, light coat of burnt sienna, just to get rid of that white, which I almost always do. I'm blocking in my composition with some transparent colors. One thing I don't do at this stage, hardly ever, is use white. So I just use these darker transparent colors to give me some rich values and rich colors back in there without anything getting really chalky at this point. Okay, well now here I am adding white to this uh, background, the water and the sky. Right now on my palette, all I have are these five colors, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and yellow ochre. And uh, this is <laughs> progressing pretty fast, as you can see from time lapse. And I have added some chromium yellow and also some chromium oxide green. This really finishes the blocking in stage. Now it's time to refine some of these larger areas that I placed in first. But of course, placing these large areas first is the most important part of any painting. So I don't worry about any details until I get those big shapes blocked in. Now throughout my painting, I try and stay away from white as much as I can because it's always easy to get a chalky looking painting if I start to dip into my white for everything. So I try and keep a lot of these colors rich and dark. But this is a sort of a, a, a soft morning light, kind of a foggy look. So here I am adding quite a bit of white up here in the uh, distance. And of course, all that distant uh, look there, that's a bit of a cooler look because it's in the background and I want that to recede Anything in the warmer colors come forward and in the uh, cooler colors uh, recede. The first part of these paintings always goes very, very quickly, that block-in stage. From here on out, things get much, much slower. Uh, so I'm just, just adding detail here. Some uh, twigs, uh, branches, negative areas to the sky, and just refining all these areas. Now, I try and keep the focus in a certain area. So the edges of the canvas, the top right, left, bottom right, the bottom left, there's not nearly as much detail in those areas as there is in the center. So where I want the person to focus the attention, uh, that's where I have the most detail. The other areas on these paintings, uh, the detail starts to get less and less. Now, I want this painting to have an autumn look, but it's very easy to get too carried away with uh, bright, vivid colors, oranges, yellows, reds. So I have to be very careful not to put in too much of those colors because the painting will just start to look over, overly saturated. So I'm keeping these autumn colors a bit soft. The light is coming from the distance behind those trees way back there. So everything has some rim lighting to it. And also in this water here, I have added some pure white sparkles of uh, glistening white water. Since I want the focus of this painting to be in this water, and I don't care so much about the rocks on either side, I have really toned them down, made them much darker with a lot less contrast. So that uh, keeps the eye focused more towards the water and less towards the rocks. All that's left now on this painting really is to just adjust certain areas, make fine adjustments, add small details, and step back every moment or two, take a look around and see what else needs to be done. Maybe a bright spot here, maybe dull something down there, a few uh, brighter colors here and there. Uh, just a, the overall look of the painting. And that's what I'm doing. Just finishing this up, making sure that most all the areas are covered with at least something. Uh, every area needs to be finished, but some areas, like I said earlier, 
need to have more finish than other areas. Right now I'm adding some accents with some brighter leaves and uh, way in the distance there, a little bit of hint of some bright, maybe sunlight through the fog coming through those distant trees. So with that spot of light coming through that foggy look, I'm also adding some uh, brighter accents to the edges of these trees, uh, just so they don't look so solid. It breaks up those tree trunks in a nice way. Using this smaller brush, I added more leaves on the ground with some fairly intense colors, a few more spots of light in the waterfalls, and that pretty much finished the, the painting. However, I'm not quite finished. I often add an animal to these mountain scenes, and uh, I'm adding a bear here. It's sort of a, a fine Waldo kind of a thing where I don't want this uh, bear to stand out very much. I want it to kind of blend in with the, uh, the surroundings. It sort of be a nice little surprise, hidden feature in the painting. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this short demonstration and see you next time. Bye-bye.